Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that I've not posted for a couple of weeks. Um, the reason was, the first week my perfectionism got uh, in the way and then this week I have been wiped out by a really nasty winter sickness bug. Um, and that was on Monday and it's literally taken me till today, which is Friday, to even feel better enough to like really get out of bed properly <laughs> so I've been I've had real bad post viral fatigue this week um, and I've just been really sick <laughs> really wiped out but that is what today's video is going to be all about it's going to be a mini glow up day I hope hopefully it won't look like this by the end of the day um, I'm going to have a day of rest, relaxation, recuperation um, and take you along with all the things I'm going to do today to try and make myself uh, feel a bit better. Um, and hello if you're new, welcome back if you've been subscribed for a while. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Yeah, mini glow up and um yeah the first thing i'm going to do i've taken olivia to nursery already um, and i've been up since half past five so again another reason why i might look so tired <laughs> but coffee at the moment just makes me feel a bit queasy the thought of it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sit down now have a, an hour or so on the sofa just to rest after looking after Olivia in the morning and taking her to nursery and I'm going to make myself a fruit smoothie. So let me get the ingredients out and show you what I'm going to put into my smoothie. Okay so I've got a kiwi, I'm going to put some lemon juice, frozen pineapple, frozen mixed berries, apple juice, splash of milk, honey, and then some chai seeds as well. Um, and I'm gonna make one for me and Scott. So I've got the big blender out. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I don't, I don't really have a recipe. I'm just sort of gonna eyeball it, but I'm just gonna whip these all up. It's quite nice, very citrusy, very refreshing, which is what I want. When I'm ill or trying to recover from being ill, all I crave is like fruit and vegetables and smoothies. So I'm gonna pour this into a glass and I'm gonna watch some YouTube and sit in the front of the telly for half an hour, 45 minutes or so and relax. And then I'm going to be drawing myself a nice relaxing, detoxing bath. And then I'll be doing some skincare, so then I'll take you along um, when I um, do my bath. Oh, that is really nice. freshly showered as an everything shower and um, so I've been in the bathroom for an hour and a half <laughs> I've not been I've been in the bath and then I went into the shower so because I don't like to wash my hair in the bath anyways but 
I'm out now. I still have an hour and a half until I need to pick Olivia up. So, <coughs> I'm gonna put some moisturizer on. I'm gonna dry my hair. I actually managed to wash and condition my hair today. That's not something I get to do very often anymore <laughs> because I like to let a conditioner soak in a good while to really nourish my hair. I've got real postpartum hair at the moment and it's um, just a bit dry. But yeah, I'm going to, um, I've got some moisturiser. I'm going to get myself a really nice lunch and I'm going to eat it outside in the garden in the sunshine because it is sunny today which is a rare thing at the moment <laughs> um, and yeah I might even no I'm not gonna have time I'll have to I just have to have my lunch outside and then I probably will end up having to pick up Olivia um, after I've done my hair and then I think we'll see how she is sometimes she's um, I pick her up and she either napped in the morning so she's like exhausted by the time I've picked her up or she didn't nap in the morning She and when I pick her up she's just woken up from a nap so she's like 150% energy levels so I'll have to see when she, what she's like when she gets home but I'm excited to see her again I do miss her a little bit when she's at nursery it's lovely to have some time to myself I'm not going to lie but I love playing with her and reading books and watching her play and singing and all sorts. So, so yeah, so I'm going to pick her up and that's probably when my self-care will end <laughs> um, for today. But Scott's not working this weekend. It's, his, it's his, one of his weekends where he doesn't work. He works every three week. Every he works one weekend, then he has two weekends off. Works weekend, two weekends off. That's his schedule. So um, he's not working this weekend. So the self care and the glow up of not just me but the house and the garden is going to begin this weekend. So I won't end the vlog here. I think it's, I'll carry on over the weekend because. One thing I absolutely love doing that um, I feel really nourishes me, makes me feel so much better inside and out, is doing the gardening. And if you're from the UK, you'll know. But if you're not from the UK, maybe you won't know. It has rained so much this winter. I have basically just not done any gardening for months, like months and months. Um, so, I will be able to give you a garden tour tomorrow um, and to show you what, maybe I start some seeds because it's all, the end of March almost. So I'm going to start some, show you some seeds, what seeds I've bought, sow some seeds, do some tidying in the garden, show you what we're dealing with. The pond is overflowing with frog spawn. And yeah, do some gardening this weekend. It'll be lovely, 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 lovely. Right, let's go sort out this hair. I'll actually be able to blow dry it properly today as well. Conditioning my hair and blow drying my hair are things I don't do very often anymore now I have a baby. So I'm going to really take care of it today. <laughs> and hopefully, I won't, it will just be nice and I won't just have to have it in a bun or in a clip thing because that's my go-to I think all mums that's like a go-to mum thing is just shove your hair up in a clip <laughs> so yeah can I go blow dry my hair
Hello everyone, so it's now Sunday and I'm actually in the garden and I'm going to be doing lots of gardening today um, but I thought I would just take you on a quick tour of the garden first because I looked back at my channel and the last garden update I did the garden update I did was last August and that actually probably is the last time I did um, like serious gardening time <laughs> so the garden has been very neglected my lovely dad has been helping me over the last six months or so trying to keep on top of things but yeah today we're gonna I've got I mean, got a to-do list as long as my arm but I'm gonna take you all along with it we're gonna do clearing we're gonna move plants we're gonna plant I'm gonna show you the seeds I've bought over the last few months and start planting some seeds um, and yeah we're just gonna enjoy some time outside today um, and hopefully um, it, it's not massively spring like today but fresh air hopefully sun on my face if the sun comes out eventually <laughs> but some nice fresh air really helps me start feeling better makes me feel like I'm taking care of myself gets me out and about gets me moving makes me stop moping on the sofa in front of the TV um, so yeah I'm going to show you the garden what it uh, how it is now um, and then we're going to have to just crack on with jobs because there is so much to do, it is ridiculous. So of course I've got my my little helper, my garden helper. Are you my garden helper today? Hey, what a good boy. What a good boy. So, we'll start the tour here. We're on the, the patio. I'll give you a quick pan of the garden how it is at the moment quite bare but there's signs of life so this is the lilac tree um, and you can see hopefully here or well, maybe not but yeah it's starting to get blossom on it so this will be lovely pink blossom um, and there's quite a lot um, on this sort of it's sort of a two-tiered tree so we've got quite a big canopy up here and then we cut loads of the cut loads of growth back and it's all re-sprouted again so we sort of have a tier of blossom here and we'll have a tier of blossom up there um, one of the jobs I need to do today is to trim this hedge back um, also fill this veg truck with soil so we can start growing vegetables I want to grow cucumbers or courgettes this year with Olivia because they're sort of easy to grow and she loves cucumber this pot's got had some tulips in but they've gone they've gone over now but they 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 were okay but I've definitely learnt my lesson and tulips are an annual thing as in every year you have to plant new ones they don't do very well the second year so I'm gonna hoik all these tulips out um, and clear this pot. I've got a little foxglove seedling here which needs to be put out into the garden somewhere. The strawberries are, my dad tidied all these up for me so they're doing really well. Um, I just need to mulch these basically with compost which is there. These are my bit of rubbish I need to clear. The first thing I'm going to do is clear all the rubbish from the garden. But these are my mascari bulbs, they're going over now, but they, they did really well in this pot, so I might just leave them in this pot, to be honest, for, for next year. Um, and yeah, they, um, they did really well, they looked really nice. And then I've got a dahlia in here, which I need to plant out into the garden. Tripod. I managed to, um, I will link up here my um, August garden tour, but in that tour I said I was gonna clear my two blue pots well I managed to clear one so this is an oxide daisy um, and then there's some more mascari here um, but yeah this is um, I've divided this so this is sort of half of a clump and I'm just waiting to, waiting to see if it needs if it will grow I'm gonna top this up I think with some more compost 
Um, but my other blue pot has all my snakehead flotillaries coming out in them. I'm really pleased about that. They look, they're so beautiful. Ooh, focus camera. There we go. I love them. So that's doing really well. Um, we've got the um, the rose here that's growing really well. I mean, look, we've already got a whoop, we've already got a bud. Sorry, the camera is not uh, focusing very well at the moment. Can we see the bud? No, maybe not. Anyway, it's got lots of buds on it. So I was going to take this um, out and put it into the, the garden, but now it's growing too strong. I think I'll just leave it in there. And I'm gonna put this rose out onto the garden. Um, hopefully today. I need to continue to trim the grapevine. I've only done half of it, so I really need to get on with that. I don't think it's got any buds of new growth on it yet. So I've, I've still got time. But yeah, it's a bit of a bird's nest. The ferns need all trimming back. And if we go into, oh, there's the sunshine. The garden, just got lots of clearing to do. I've got a few forget-me-nots here which are looking nice and I've got a new border here so again my dad helped me do all this I need to clear the leaves but this is basically all the foxglove seedlings that had self seeded themselves in the garden I've got a few more that I need to put in here actually um, but yeah the idea is that basically they are going to make a wall of flower spikes <laughs> So you'll have this wall, the actual wall, brick wall, and then a lovely wall of flowers. Um, but that probably won't be this year because they, these need at least uh, another, uh, this year to grow. So they might be, might, they might flower next year. Um, but yeah, we've got that. We've got the, the tropical border, needs a rejig. And I've watched my video back this morning with, uh, where I talk through all my ideas so I actually know what I'm doing um, and yeah it's just a lot of clearing up we had to get um, I think I might have mentioned it in a few posts a uh, few videos but yeah our, we've had to get all of our fence posts um, sort of reinforced because of the wind so there's a new post there a new post there it sort of goes all the way along the garden really and then full new posts at the back but yeah there's a bit of damage that damage control needed um, and my poor banana needs a good haircut <laughs> um, the, the dog has really done a lot of damage this year to the garden to the grass along this path a lot of damage and we've got a quote to put a big a path all the way down here, but um, it's a lot of money, so I'm just deciding what to do about that. Um, and yeah, it's just, the garden's looking a bit bare at the moment. The pond um, is, doing better actually this year it's done a lot better than it was last year last year it looked awful i need to clear the pond weed but all the lilies are are putting new leaves out and so is the iris so that one needs trimming back but the big news in the pond i'm not sure how much the camera will pick up oh yeah you can see it here is loads of frog spawn and loads of baby tadpoles that are on the surface you can see um, wriggling about I mean there is so much frog spawn in this pond it's unbelievable 
so that's really good there's just like there's just thousands and thousands of frogs they look disgusting to be honest when they're at this stage of their life cycle they look like a big pile of leeches no nicer way to put it they look gross but it's nice to see see new life so yeah i just need to skim the top of this pond with to get rid of all this the weed this area has been cleared we may have to clear this area to be able to get the new posts in um so i need to do some more clearing up um, and that's the pile of rubbish that we that we i need to deal with in terms of putting it into the the recite well the garden waste bin um, and then I'm not going to get time to do the grass today but one thing I do want to do is if you can see in our compost heap we have this now I thought it was a parsley pl plant or maybe coriander my dad thinks it might be an actual parsnip a parsnip so one of my jobs today is I'm going to pull this up and actually see is it a parsnip is it just a herb um, and if it is a herb plant I'm going to repot it and if it's a parsnip then we'll see if it's edible but yeah at least it means that the compost heap has um, got good soil in it if it's being able to grow a big plant like that so that's good but yeah that's a, a tour of the garden it's been very neglected doesn't look great but it never does at this time of year so yes I need to crack on the first thing I'm going to do is just clear rubbish from the garden things have sort of blown in throughout the winter so I'm going to do that and then I will show you what I'm going to do um, in terms of starting to cut back and move plants okay so cleared the rubbish the first thing I'm going to do is a fun thing I'm going to see if this is a plant a herb plant or a parsnip in this compost bin right let's see what's this Ruben what's this plant a parsnip but it was not edible so I've put that in the compost bin right the next thing to do I think is hmm, I'm going to clear the leaves from the step because that will make the garden look nicer and I can put them in the compost bin to start making more compost.
break with a cup of tea. And a brunch bar. And I'm really trying to not let my perfectionism get to me this year in terms of the garden. When it comes to the garden, I tend to try and do things perfectly, which you can't really do when it comes to gardening anyway. But I end up doing two jobs, say like 100%, when in fact what I should be doing is 10 jobs, 80% well, rather than two at 100%. So I'm really trying to not let, I'm trying to do more and just sort of let go of that perfectionism and trying to just accomplish more and it not be perfect because I think that's going to make the difference with the garden this year. Yes, I could have one flower bed that's perfectly weeded, but I actually have five or six flower beds that I need to tend to. So if I have one that's perfectly done and the rest aren't done at all, I'd rather have all of them done like 60, 70% well rather than just one that's done 100%. <laughs> so um, I'm trying to yeah make make myself not do things perfectly and like just do things just well enough and then move on to the next thing and actually do you know accomplish more and I'm also trying to take more breaks when I come to gardening because I tend to get very focused and then I end up gardening for hours and I haven't eaten or drunk anything or enjoyed sitting in the garden listening to the birds and the dog running around like a madman <laughs> so those are the things I'm trying to do differently this year and sort of I guess take things a bit slower not do things not have things perfect take lots of breaks and enjoy being in the garden as well as doing all the jobs although I do enjoy doing all the jobs as well, so but yeah it's nice to be able to sit down with a cup of tea and a, and a and a snack and uh, enjoy the bird song. So, if you're wanting to cut some hedges in your garden at the moment, just double check that there's no nesting birds in the hedge. I mean, I'm just giving this a trim and I know there's no nesting birds in there, so that's okay. But yeah, just double check because you don't want to disturb any birds, especially at this time of year when they're making their nests. 
Um, and the way I do it, luckily I have this wall here as a convenient guide to be able to clip this straight with my hand um, held shears. But if you had an electric hedge trimmer, I would maybe put a string line down on the ground and then use that as your guide to make sure that you're cutting your or trimming your hedge straight. Um, but yeah, luckily I have this wall, which is a very convenient straight line for me. Um, and I think I've done a pretty good, pretty good job. I just need to keep trimming. This won't be its final trim. I'll trim it a few more times throughout the year to keep it nice and clipped. But yeah, looking, looking better already. Okay, so I've actually been inside and had some lunch and I put my hair up. But I've done a few jobs which make the look the garden look a bit tidier and now I'm going to do a few jobs which will make the garden better starting with putting some fresh compost into the strawberries I do this every year again in the I'll link it in the video here my August garden boy I've got some top tips for how to grow really good strawberries that give you loads and loads of strawberries every year but one of the tips is Every year, I top my pots up with fresh compost and I get rid of any old um, strawberries because after a few years they do crop as well. So, let me give you an example. I know this is a old strawberry because of how long this stemmy bit is. So this is quite long, that means that this has been growing for a few years and after a few years they just don't produce as good strawberries. So I just look for the really really long um, stems ones and pull them out. But now I'm going to um, do the compost. There's a worm in, in this bit of compost. using a, a bag of compost at the moment but I do have obviously the compost bin but the, the, the honest truth is I just can't produce enough compost quick enough for the amount that I actually need which is a problem most gardeners have um, so I do need to turn the compost heap but that will that's a massive job for another day um, but I normally use that um, in my flower borders rather than um, in my fruit and veg just because um, I know that this is sterile which it, should ha it shouldn't have any like weeds in it and I can't guarantee that my homemade compost is weed free and I like I don't want to have to pick weeds out of my strawberries um, so that's why I'm using shop brought compost for these bags. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back the ferns so I can see the new fronds coming through, and I'm actually going to move this end fern here for this year. So hopefully, it has better chance 
to grow because it grows fine when it has enough sunlight but this middle fern then blocks it out and it um they didn't produce proper leaves like this so um it needs moving the fern down you may be wondering why am I chopping things up and putting them in to put them in this bag number one it's because I can fit more in and I don't have to keep going backwards and forwards to the compost heap which would be good and number two is that this is going to the compost heap and if you cut your things like clippings up small before you put them in the compost heap they decompose quicker and then you make more compost more quickly um, so that's why I've chopped everything up I'll show you the, the fern now. Now I don't normally cut this fern back this hard um, because it stays green throughout the winter so I normally just leave it but as you can see it's got absolutely loads of new frongs coming through. They look a bit, I mean it looks incredibly alien like, it's quite cool but this year it got a lot of the frongs got damaged basically I thought it's better to cut it all back and let it get a lot of more air and light in so these new um, frongs can grow. Um, this is the fern that I'm moving. Again, it's it's got some new growth on it, so I really need to move that quickly. Um, and then I have my ahukara, which is, that's dead now, I think, unfortunately. Um, but I do have a little um, hookah there. This one's called Little Cutie. And it is a little cutie. It's a nice little pop of purple in the corner. And then this is my other fern. And th these are all new new ferns, frongs. Um, they look like, like knuckles. So you've got a nice clump here. You've got a clump at the back. Clumps all over. Um, in theory, I probably could split this, actually. But I'm going to leave it this year. Because I've never split a fern before, so I don't know what I'm doing and I'm too scared. <laughs> but yeah, um, they are they do look very alien like this time of year. But yeah, this one I've had for years and years and years. It's not doing very well here, so I'm gonna move it. Um, because I want to save it. I don't want it to I want it to flourish. So I'm gonna dig this up and move it and I'll show you the new spot. The new the fern is in its new place at the end of edge of this new border this gets quite this gets a lot of moss and so it means that it doesn't get much um, sunlight which is good because it doesn't want too much sun it wants a bit but not too much so hopefully this has more room to grow now um, and we've tied up that bit I can't take any of the credit for moving this fern though that was all Scott because it was so heavy <laughs> the root ball on that was like solid which is good it means it's a very healthy plant but it was solid solid so um, hopefully it's got enough root to um, to grow and someone has just found my gardening glove so he'll enjoy playing with that for a minute he's quite good he hasn't actually chewed them yet so that's good Hello Ruby Roo, have you been enjoying being outside today? Yeah. But I haven't managed to touch this border yet. But look, my my black lace Japanese maple is starting to come into leaf. This is the expensive one I bought at Chelsea Flower Show, so I'm very precious of this 
tree. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to finish in the garden today because we need to take the dog for a W-A-L-K. Um, I'm going to go all together, me, Scott, Livy and the dog. But I thought I would just finish this video by showing you the seeds I've got um, and what I plan to sow to grow this year. Okay, so I've got to do this quickly because my camera is flashing its battery at me. But the seeds I am planning to grow this year are Cosmos, uh, Double Dutch Rose, shit like that. Some Lilium Bright Eyes. I just like the look of them. Um, some Nicotiana for um, the, um, oh, sorry, bad lighting. The moths, because it's got good nighttime scents. Some double um, flowering poppies, so fully double pom pom flower heads, poppy candy floss. And then I also picked up this, which is a trial mix um, of um, sunflowers. Apparently they're great for children. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna grow these with Livy this year. And then I've also got things that I've saved seeds myself from um, last year. So I've got some alliums I want to um, so candy tufts, they're my favourite, larkspur, um, foxgloves, although I don't need to actually sow any foxgloves this year, and sweet peas, and I know I'm a bit late with sweet peas, but um, I'm going to try them anyway again, because I loved them last year. So that's my little um, seed haul, which should be nice in the garden this year, really nice. Um, as well as my the seeds I saved myself from the garden last year. And um, I won't show you sowing them because it's just putting seeds in some soil. But I will keep everybody updated on how these seeds in particular go. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hopefully it's not too long. Um, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'm hoping to get out into the garden much more this year. Um, and take you all along with some garden tours throughout the seasons. Um, we're having a big, big garden party for Olivia's first birthday, so I'll be taking you through how we're gonna um, get the garden party ready. And yeah, hopefully we have a lovely summer and we just spend lots of nice weekends in the garden, with barbecues and chilling. And I uh, can... Um, yeah, take you all along. So if you yeah, if you want to see more garden content, then please do subscribe. And I will see you in my next vlog uh, next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.